An exciting new arrival was an engine cranking the crane was unloading. It was heavy. This makes my chain ache, groaned Cranky. This is Harvey, the crane engine, Sir Topham Hatt said proudly. The other engines thought Harvey looked strange. You know what there isn't enough of in any scale of modeling? Crane engines. Like, look at the dube's crane tank. This thing is awesome. How has no company made a model of this yet? It puts people like me in a awkward situation. Mainly because I love Harvey. He's a favorite in the Thomas and Friends roster of characters. And for the longest time, I wanted to make a model of him, but didn't know how. The original and obvious idea was design one and print it. But being that this was such a complicated design, and I have little to no experience in doing such, that was not going to be easy. I figured my only options would be buying a Trackmaster and putting a pug chassis in it. That is, until I looked at l js toy shop. It just so happened they had a Harvey for sale, a Nakayoshi one. And in terms of all of the Harvey toys ever made, this one is probably the most accurate. It has a pretty good size, accurate proportions. Pretty quickly, I decided to order that and decided I would try to modify the toy to be a 00 scale runner. Really quick, this is not sponsored, but I want to give a huge shout out to LNJ Toys again. The Nakayoshi Harvey is a pretty hard model to find, and they sold it to me for $30. They always have super killer deals. If you ever need a Thomas anything, I highly recommend checking out their shop. Personally, I've always gotten the best service. And in no time, Harvey arrived to me. He even came with a little friend. This is a pocket fantasy Harvey, and my first uh, pocket fantasy ever. It just might start a new addiction. But immediately at this point, I got to work on his big brother. The first step was naturally remove his decaling, orb stickers, anything he had on him that would mess up the priming process. I removed his name with rubbing alcohol, got rid of the stickers on the back of the cab and on the top of the crane, and before I went to prime him, realized this entire thing kinda went together like a kit. You could take off basically every part, every gear, the crane itself, the boiler, the smoke box, and this was gonna very seriously help the painting process. But I also realized one other problem before I started. The Nakayoshi Harvey model does not have windows, or real ones. Well, in this case, I did end up getting a bit lucky. The windows on the dupes crane tank are very simple. It's kinda like the entire front of the cab is open. So that's pretty much what I did on my model. I decided to dremel out that middle wall, and sanded it to a smooth finish. Admittedly, this entire process was pretty nerve-wracking, so I only did it on the front. Sadly, my Harvey model does not have rear windows, but having the front open was enough for me. I then took him apart and primed each part separately. Now, at this point, I decided Harvey would not have his normal livery. As you probably could tell, I'm a huge fan of the tube's crane tank. I think it's a awesome locomotive, and personally have always liked its very simple, industrial-feeling livery so I decided I would do that on my Model 2, but also keep it Harvey, so maybe this is Harvey before he came to Sodor. Honestly, it's just cool, I'm not thinking about it that hard. And painted his boiler a Tamiya Park Green. I did the same to the crane, also adding the matte black on the front, and before I primed the footplate, decided to fit the chassis. Now, the chassis you see under Harvey is a heavily cut down B4 chassis. This honestly is not something I can recommend doing, it was very scary and a nerve-wracking experience. I'm not the first to say it, DePole has a very shit quality control, and this is the same chassis I used on RAF Duncan. It has always had problems and kinda always sucked. Cutting through it with a Dremel did not help that factor. I basically had to remove the entire firebox glimmer, as well as about 80% of the front before the pistons. Again, this was very nerve-wracking, but once it was done, it was a flush fit. Unfortunately, the smoke box in front of the boiler did have some interference, so those had to be dremeled out as well, but pretty quickly it was all coming together and the footplate was primed too. I decided to paint the entire footplate and back of the cab a matte black, gave that several hours to dry, and then masked off the sides and top, then repriming the buffer beams and spraying those a camel yellow, also made by Tamiya. His buffers and step ladders were also separate pieces, so those were removed and painted a matte black as well. And pretty quickly, Harvey was coming back together. I have to say, the hardest part was probably lining up the pistons and the smoke box. Like I said, the smoke box and front of the boiler do have quite a bit of interference with the chassis. That said, I was not going to have the motor protruding through the body, so a lot of modification had to be done to make that a flush thing. Eventually, however, it was done, and when I went to give Harvey his test run, 
he did not move, and that was that was very disheartening, not gonna lie. It turned out in the process of reassembly, I damaged the board inside of the chassis. Who would have guessed? So I did what I should have done a long time ago and removed that complicated piece of shit. Now all of the wiring is connected directly to the motor and to the pickups. And you know what? Admittedly, it runs quite a bit better after that. And ladies and gentlemen, I called it at that point. The only thing he needed now was a front coupler. And the one you see now is a Mach 1, made from an old Hornby Pug and a spare detail kit from one of my Atlantics. Like I said, this is more a mock coupler. I don't ever plan to have Harvey pulling things from the front or maybe even the back. But if that ever changes, I'll let you guys know. Now all Harvey needs is to be weathered. And while I sadly haven't gotten to that part yet, I still wanted to show off where I am with this model and hopefully get you guys just as excited as I am for his future. This was definitely a scary model to make, but ended up being one of my favorites I've ever done. For a long time, I thought Harvey was a model I would never make just because it'd be so complicated. And I'm happy to say, at that point, I was just being stupid. Let this go to show you, you can make any Thomas and Friends character or any model project you want if you just put your mind to it. It sadly wasn't the easiest, but either way, it got done. And I have to say, I'm pretty proud of the results. Before I ruin this beautiful livery though, and go through the process of making him look a bit more used, let's quit the talking and see this guy in action. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.